guys, what's going on? Tim Pistol here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make really cool Fortnite uh, text to go in YouTube banners and headers. You can use it in thumbnails and stuff too, but it looks really cool in uh, YouTube banners and headers. It's really simple, but very nice looking style. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Can we break 100 likes on this video? That would really mean a lot. Um, if you want to see more Fortnite tutorials, like uh, design tutorials on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always reading the comments, guys. Also, I do stream at 7 p.m. Uh, UK time every day. I try to anyway, so make sure you come to them. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos or streams. And yeah, let's just get straight on to the video. Right, guys, so we are here in Photoshop. So um, this is just a uh, Fortnite Twitter header that I did create a while ago. I've changed it up a bit because um, I've made some new text um, that I want to show you guys how to make in today's video. It's very, very, very nice. It's quite techy. Um, it looked complicated, but it's only a few simple steps that you need to do to create it. So uh, yeah, that's what we will be creating. Creating. So let's just hide that for now. Um, so the font you want to be able to use is let's just make a white. Um, you want to use Burbank. Um, you be, you guys can download it for free. Just type it in Burbank font download. It's the Fortnite font, and um, just put your name. I'm just going to put name. And make it pretty big not that big but you know about this big and make sure the spacing is zero like so and we're just gonna place it here I think I'll probably make it a bit bigger um, the official Twitter of I'm gonna move that later um, so yeah you want to keep it like that so the next thing we're gonna do is go over to Google and just find a random Fortnite background um, and it's not really what the background is. It basically you just need an image, and it's going to create a cool effect. Any image, really. Um, so you just want to paste it in, and then create clipping mask, and make it smaller, like so. You want to make sure it fits just about something like this. That'll be fine. Then press Ctrl U and we're going to bring down the saturation. And then once you've done that, we're going to go to merge these two together and then press Ctrl J and go to filter, stylize, find edges and then press Ctrl I. And now you've got that and it looks pretty cool. And I think if you set it to overlay, yeah, set it to overlay guys and then press Ctrl E to merge it. And it's looking quite nice already. It looks a bit weird. You want to double click on the text layer and go to color overlay and choose a color um, whatever color your background is really and um, set it to overlay and make sure it's on 100 opacity and we're just going to rasterize that now then double click again on the layer and go to gradient overlay make sure it's black to white and it's set to overlay so as you can see it just adds something else to it next what you want to do is add an outer glow um, I've got a really really small outer glow, just a very thin uh, glow around the outside and then you want to add an inner glow as well and make sure that's really thin so it's just a really subtle outline and it looks really nice. So now what you want to do is just rasterize the layer style, in fact no don't rasterize it because that gets rid of the effect. Press Ctrl J then Ctrl E and um, we're gonna just put some effects on this. You wanna go to pixelate, mosaic, and put it up to about 15. Then go to filter, stylize, find edges, press control I on the keyboard, and then set it to um, color dodge, I think. Oh no, I've done it wrong, sorry. I, I forgot to duplicate, duplicate it. So let's just go back. You want to duplicate it, then press Ctrl E. Wait. No, sorry, don't press Ctrl E, just rasterize it. And just do the same thing again. Go to Mosaic 15, Filter Gallery, Stylize, Find Edges, then Ctrl I to invert it. And then you can set it to Color Dodge. And there we go, it's pretty much done there, guys. It just looks really techy, really cool, and you guys can add other effects to it if you want. 
What I did is I added some colour overlays over the top. So if you go to the brush and choose a colour like purple or a dark blue and just press like in certain places like I pressed over here and then what you want to do is set it to either lighten screen or colour dodge. Colour dodge looks really nice in my opinion. It just brings out some nice colours so it's not just all dark like so and yeah it looks really cool um, if you can sort of blend it into the YouTube banner it can look really really nice and that's what we've done in today's tutorial tutorial you can press ctrl T and rotate it if you want as well and you can just add other effects around the outside but I'm just showing you guys a cool way to uh, make a nice font um, without like having to just like using the effects within Photoshop and not having to like go into a massive graphics pack to do it all you need is an image off Google and um, just a few simple effects and colour corrections can make it look really cool. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you can add like the official channel of, I've added that, I'm not sure where, yeah there it is, the official Twitter of, and then you can just like move that up like so and you can put like a social media at the bottom and yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more tutorials on how to make cool text uh, for Fortnite banners and um, or like backgrounds how to make cool backgrounds um, let me know down below I might, I might start doing some free templates for you guys so yeah let me know down below in the comments hit the like button can we break 100 likes that'll be awesome subscribe if you're new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and also I do stream at 7 p.m. UK time almost every day um, I will be streaming tonight guys so make sure you be there and yeah I hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video